these days I don't really care for all that Hi guys, welcome to my channel, it's Nonu here Um, I decided to do a try and haul today And I thought that I should do a sit down so I can get to chit chat about the clothes that I wore this past weekend and also guys I would really really appreciate if you guys leave a comment on down below leave a comment down below on what you like and what you would like me to do further I would really appreciate that because I've been checking on my feed there's a lot of people that are watching my my channel not subscribed but I would really really appreciate if you guys can subscribe to my channel and help a girl out to grow I mean like I really really am trying to push this content and also keeping fingers as well so that I can also grow my channel so moving right along let's just do this try and haul so guys please please bear with me <laughs> don't kill me as I look down on my phone I've got all the pictures of the items that I wore this past weekend so I can explain what I'm wearing and when you see it here on the screen on the side that's what I'm explaining so as I also look down on my, on my phone so moving right along let's start with the first one first one that I'm wearing here it's a skirt which is really really beautiful it has there's two fabrics on that skirt there's a mesh um, on top and then underneath the print which is your black and the color is I could say the color is um, tone yeah it's um, taupe taupe color your it's almost like brown not even brown maybe I could say maybe it's um, a bit of um, like the top that I'm wearing on top it's not even a top <laughs> let me just tell you straight guys that's not even a top it's a scarf it's a chiffon a scarf that I threw over so I could make it seamless into a top so it can sink in with the skirt that I'm wearing so yeah the skirt color it's taupe and black so there's a, a top uh, um, underneath underneath it's the print <laughs> what am I saying underneath it's a print and then on top it's a mesh so they put together those fabric together to make this skirt which is beautiful as I'm showing you here um, also it has a ribbon um, not a ribbon it's like you tie it here in front and then yeah so that's the skirt that I wore so I hope you guys get to understand me I'm um, doing this all over again I used to do it back in Cape Town so now I'm getting back to doing it again so yeah um that skirt is from Big Blue um, the name of the skirt is NV um, Africa mesh skirt so that skirt is quite beautiful it you can wear it with your traditional attire because you I wouldn't say wear it with your traditional attire and mix it together you can if you've got those colors um, that goes together that complements the skirt you can use your your beadwork your African prints um, not your African prints what am I saying your African beads um, your earrings as well you can complement the skirt you can wear it in to a wedding if you like you could do that and also you could like wear it on your normal day let's say maybe you're going out with the girls um, you guys are hanging out you can wear that skirt or even maybe at work as well you can but you can like maybe change it up a bit make it to a formal if you like one of those ladies who like wearing long dresses and long dresses and skirts you can do that also uh, um, contribute it to your corporate world if you can I think but it I think it would depend with your um, corporate uh, um, company if they would allow certain skirts like that but I would think that you can also wear it there as well so yeah okay and then the second one that I am wearing here it's a skirt as well um, this one it's nice because it's a wraparound skirt um, this definitely you can wear it at a corporate world because you people like to wear your black and whites but this you can um, you can wear it it's a nice beautiful skirt 
Um, it's an NV, if I'm not mistaken, it's also an NV skirt. It's a wraparound skirt. Uh, this one is just your plain black skirt. Um, as you saw there, um, I'm trying to, I was trying to also uh, put it together. I'll try and show you as well. As you can see here, there's a shirt as well that I placed. Um, Linda West shirt. <laughs> if you know why I'm, if you know why I'm saying it's Linda West shirt, um, it's it has this detailing here where it has this huge, um, um, I could say ropes. Is it ropes or tie? So it's almost like your tie for men, but this one is just a huge long fabric that, that they decided to um, make it into a. I don't know how to explain but it's like you tie it around your neck um, to make this huge detailing here um, as you can see here I just rouged it on the side um, so that's how the shirt looks um, the shirt is smudge it's a smudge uh, uh, designer and then the skirt it's an NV wraparound skirt so I'll try and also put the name of the the shirt but you can also get it at Big Blue as well. So it's I try to complement the skirt with the the shirt. So it's quite beautiful. It's also amazing as well. You can also wear that at the Copper World, or you can also wear it. Let's say maybe you you going out also as well. You could do that, or even on Sundays going to church, you can wear that dress, the skirt. I mean, you can wear the skirt and the shirt together, or you can just leave them separate you can um play around with colors for the skirt and the shirt you can maybe put your jeans or put your nice pants uh it can also go nicely with the uh with your pants as well so the next one here uh, what was my next one it was the green and white top uh, also the green pants uh, they call them chartreuse at work yeah so they call them chartreuse that color um it's your it's almost like lime uh, like the lime pants that i'm wearing here it's also from big blue as well uh the whole collaboration is with big blue um the pants you can also get them on the online store they also have an online store or you can go physically to the different stores that they have in Joburg, pretoria and also kzn i know they're going to be opening uh, another branch in in KZN. So they've got Felito and the one at... They said they want to open a Gateway, but I'm not sure. But yeah, in KZN, there's about two stores now. And then in Pretoria, they've got a lot of stores. I will not mention because they're a lot. Um, you can just also check on their website. And also they've got Joburg stores as well. So yeah, let's get to this. Um, the pants... It's a lime pants. It's almost like your high waist up to here. You can put up your pants up here. Um, and then the pants, they open up a bit on your legs. They're not tight. It's more like your, what do you call them? Your palazzo pants. I wouldn't say they're palazzo pants, but they are open. They're quite quite open. They're free. Um, they don't touch your, your, your booty, your legs. They're just loose. It's a loose cut pants and then on top that's uh the designer is smudge if i'm not mistaken that's a smudge top it's quite low not low it's a high low uh, top so the back is quite long and then in front it's quite short um i tried to pair it with this um together here as you can see here and it has this almost like a cow neck but it's not necessarily a cow neck because you tie it in there's a button underneath and then there's a button here on top so it creates this um, cow neck um, illusion here so you can like um, open it up if you like you can open it up and let it show whatever you're wearing underneath and then also have a nice um, I didn't um, quite um, do the whole nice outfit with this um, I was just trying to put two items together but I would say if the pants were a bit on the tighter side that would look cute and then also the top would also look rocky if it would have 
been a nice a beautiful um outfit if it, the jeans were if i was wearing jeans or something tight on the side something tight the tight bottoms that would have looked nice but yeah and then the next one here um i'll also try and, and put the items on my description box um the outfits that i was wearing so you guys get to see the the prices and everything i'll just link it down below and then you can also visit big blue and then you can say you referenced for me hey <laughs> you can just put it in that spice a bit but yeah so the next so the next one here it's a it's a dress <laughs> this time around i'm wearing a dress here it's a black dress it has long sleeves it's not tight on your body it's more like an a-line skirt not an a-line skirt it's more like your a-line dress it come it touches you here a bit on the breast area and then just flares out and then it's also up until your knees um, and then it has a nice um, lace it's one of those uh, thick lace up here on the breast area and shoulder so it goes up here as you can see um, yeah the sleeves also are but it has um, some some buttons here on the sleeves it's quite beautiful the design is also an NV design and new vintage um, the dress is black it also comes in colors if I'm not mistaken there's also colors in the skirt in this dress <laughs> it came in colors and then I decided to pair it with these shoes here they're quite pointy um, they also sp they have spikes as well these sh these shoes so oh on the first one also I um, the skirt I paired it with the nice necklace it's rope rope um, the, um, what's the name um, it's called uh, hoop accessories the designer of those neck pieces it's hoop um, accessories so yeah uh, so with this I decided to pair with it with the shoes and then in, as you can see also I throw in a jacket um, a black jacket over the skirt over the dress I keep saying skirt it's a dress um, so yeah I paired it with this my beautiful um, uh, jacket you can also wear this jacket alone if you like if you those girls like you don't want to wear anything um, you can just have your underwear your la lingerie underneath like your nice winter socks leggings no it's not leggings your what did we call these socks man the long ones that you put up until your your in Zulu we call them amakusha and then, then they call it ama stockings you can wear your stockings with this uh, jacket um, throw it over your jacket or maybe if you like you can like wear your leggings and wear your nice heel um, 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 boots if you like it would be really amazing with this jacket um, it's also very warm it's very very warm it's on the thick side not that thick but it's quite warm and then you can also pair it with your if you like you can wear your pants if you like some nice pants and then put that coat over and you would look beautiful um, with it or you could like maybe let's say you going out on a date and then you want to wear the coat you can wear the coat on its own and then have something underneath so we can keep warm because we're going to winter now as you can see I also called this um, try and hold winter outfits winter try on a haul I meant to say so yeah um, the jacket is also quite nice yeah and let's okay so I didn't change the dress here I was just trying to show you guys this coat as well this coat it has a bit of drama in it <laughs> so the reason why I'm saying this coat has a bit of drama okay the designer's name is Miss Minnie Penny um, the coat um, so as you can see I'm busy wrapping my, my arm and stuff it's really really warm as well um, and snuggly 
uh, it has a lot of drama in it the reason I'm saying as you can see the print the print is like your forest um, it has leaves in there and stuff the print and then the next thing it has fur not your real fur like a cow's skin or or sheep's uh, uh, fur anything nothing like that they don't they didn't kill any animal here so the reason I'm saying it has a bit of drama it has fur here it has fur on on the sleeves not the whole entire sleeves just the bottom part on sleeves the calf side yeah it got it has fur there and then it has fur all over the trimming of the jacket guys if that's not drama I don't know what it is but yeah that coat has a lot of drama it's beautiful I would say if you're one of those people who love fashion you would definitely love this coat and you would get to play around with it and it would be you you would making your own statement if you were a fashion lover you would really love this coat and then the next one here here that I have it's gonna be a dress so this is like your hoodie dress I think I did show it last year if I didn't sorry but yeah we've had this dress quite a lot at Big Blue but this time around they decided to make a print it's almost like your remember this game where you like trace where you need to go it's like a maze the yeah the print is like a maze so they decided to do that print but and that why am i saying but yeah they decided to do the, to do that print and then they made it into a hoodie dress um it's also the designer's name is nv new vintage um it has a hoodie here as i've shown you i'm also wearing the hat the hoodie not the hat and then I placed it I, I played around also with the heels again in there um, it's quite nice the fit is also warm this time around this is very very warm uh, compare last year the uh, fabric was quite on like almost like a t-shirt uh, fabric cotton um, so this one here is more on the thicker side because of winter and stuff so that's also quite amazing in that uh, um, department if you really really want to be warm I would suggest you can also wear this uh, this dress um, also the people who like to wear these dresses it's your um, the Muslim community because they were they are celebrating Ramadan um, the reason why I'm saying they enjoy these dresses if you really really tall this dress will be beautiful on you not 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 extent not exactly very tall but the model uh, um tallness this would look beautiful on you for me because i'm very very short i had to wear the heels as you can see with those red heels spiky ones so yeah um i had to wear the heels because that dress is really really long for short people that's the some problems that some customers that they have with the dresses at Big Blue they're quite very very long um, whereas um, if you're short there's gonna be a lot of fabric on the floor if you don't mind having a lot of fabric on the floor but I would suggest you should um, take it to a tailor and then let it uh, um, let it um, what am I trying to say take it to the tailor and let it uh, fit your tallness because if you're short you definitely need to go and take it to the tailor but if you're tall this dress would be amazing on you but if you're very very tall then um we you're gonna need to put another fabric but it's gonna be difficult to find the fabric to match your dress so yeah that dress is amazing love it to bits and then let's go to the next one I think I ramble a lot about this dress because I love it. It's beautiful. Um, and then the next outfit. <laughs> the reason I 
why I'm doing that. Oh, this dress, this dress, this dress, this dress. It's on the dramatic side. So this dress here, it's your black and white. It's also your 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 ethnic print. Um, this designer does beautiful dresses, amazing dresses. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, my camera died. I had to charge it a bit. Um, I changed it. So, um, we were doing the second last dress. So, I was saying, <laughs> so this dress is really, 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 really dramatic. Um, so it has a print. It's a black and white print. Uh, it has some uh, red on there on the sides. And then there's also a bit of red here and then also on the bottoms as well. And then I wore the same shoes, the red shoes. Which this look was really, really nice. I don't want to lie. Um, as you can see, the dress is quite big. Um, the reason is, um, with this designer, her breasts, I'm also stating also on my video as well. The breast area, if you've got dairies, even peewee, like me. If in Piwi, you got given with big breasts. This designer might not work with you. The reason is she she does the most amazing dresses. I won't lie. I will not dispute that. I will not crash her creativity when it comes to designing clothes. The only problem is she has a problem here with the breast area. Um, if you normally wear a small here the cups are going to be too tight on your girlies and then you're going to need to go a size up which for me i had to go for a medium whereas the medium fit me nicely on my breast area but on the bottom of the dress i didn't like it because it had a lot of material on it but i don't want to lie the dress was beautiful um, it also has this thing here, again, the bow tying thing on the neck. Um, she did that as well. And then what I loved also was her sleeves. Her sleeves were very nice. Uh, this detailing here on the side that had red ruching on it. Trimming, not ruching. Uh, the trimming on the sides. The red, they open up this, they open up a bit here. So... Those are quite nice as well. I really enjoyed the dress. Um, it's just the breast area that, which I didn't like because I had to go a size up and then the whole skirt ends up having too much fabric. But other than that, that dress was really, really beautiful. I really loved. Uh, the designer's name is Asian Beauty. Um, she does stunning, stunning um, um, uh, fabrics. Not fabrics. She does amazing dresses when it comes with the the ethnic um, fabrics, your traditional uh, uh, tr fabrics that she does. They are beautiful. I will not dispute that. <laughs> I will not kill the designer's clothes, but she does amazing clothes. It's just the breast area for me. And then we're going to go to the last one. The last one is on sale. Um, it recently went on sale at Big Blue. Not recently, it's like been a week now. A week? A week or two? So yeah, this yellow dress is beautiful. It's your Betty um, dress. Um, it's beautiful. It, this designer is Oami. Is it Oami? Ona. Yeah, Ona or something. I forgot, but she does amazing dresses as well. She she's also on the your your traditional prints. She does that. She also does a lot of Kosa um, outfits. This lady, uh, the designer, uh, she's amazing. Also, when it comes to her ethnic um, uh, fabrics and stuff, she's beautiful. But she's more on the traditional side of Kosa. She's more based on that side, but with this yellow dress, she decided to do e Betty um, style. So this dress came in two colors. It came in the yellow, and it also came in the white. And the white has a trimmings of yellow, 
I'm not yellow this pink is blue if I'm not mistaken I'll try and insert that color of the other dress but yeah she did two prints she did two colors in this style of this dress that I'm wearing but I wore the yellow one but also with her as well she has a problem also with the breast area the breast area oh I cannot complain more about the breast area but yeah the dresses are beautiful with her as well this designer it's just that also the breast area if you if if you're a girly like me who has big breasts you're gonna need to go a size up and then comes the downfall of the fabric again on the skirt it would end up being too much and because you needed to accommodate these ones here but other than that the dress is really beautiful I don't want to lie but for me I felt like it's making me too grown up I don't want to lie <laughs> I'm only just 29 but yeah if it was a bit shorter for me like those nice um um what's the name a line skirts but make it into a dress I would have loved it if it was like above my knee I would really like and rock the dress because that's why I also was lifting it up I was showing someone that if it was a bit upper for me I would definitely get this dress but other than that I don't want to lie this dress is beautiful again if you got big breasts you're gonna need to go a size up but other than that I really really enjoyed these dresses and I also enjoyed <laughs> the, the whole try and hold as you can see I was dancing along also on the dress uh, with this yellow dress because it goes nicely with my skin tone yeah so we have come to an end I really hope that you guys really enjoyed this whole try and haul with me um, you will get to see more many 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 more of try and hauls that I'll be doing with Big Blue again um, I just hope you guys got to enjoy it and also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment leave a comment I would really appreciate if you guys send me your feedback I would always say that again and again please leave your comment and then I'll also get to respond and get to see where are my hicks up or where are my hiccups and and work on them so until we meet again thank you for watching my channel guys bye